I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to fly the DJI slash Rise Tello drone again and uh, I think you'll like it. It's pretty scenic up here so we're just going to do a quick demo flight because this is actually one of my favorite micro drones. It's even better than the Xiaomi Mi 2 drone. I've seen a recent review of the Mi 2 drone and the video doesn't look half as good as what you're going to see on the Tello so um, you can go and look up the Mi 2 drone and I'll put a link down below for that one as well and uh, you're going to have to have a special certified 5.8 G Wi-Fi network to be able to run the Mi 2 drone as well and this one is also proving to be more compatible with my iPhone 7 so the Mi 2 drone is actually giving my iPhone 7 some trouble and not loading up so uh, we can't actually fly that one today which is a huge bummer but I'm going to go ahead and fly the Tello anyway because we're up here on the hill and there is no wind right now and it's absolutely gorgeous outside so uh, why not fly this little micro toy drone? So here we go. So let's go ahead and start recording the video and I'll do the auto takeoff real quick for you. Awesome. So it's going to fly out a little bit, come up. And look at that, what a nice view. I haven't changed any of the settings inside here, so right now we're just flying it stock. Really nice day out. It's gorgeous for this quad. This is the kind of day when you want to fly the Tello when there's just absolutely no wind. And the prop guards, they can stay home. Because the prop guards don't really make it fly all that great in my opinion. But. The opinions are out there on the Mi 2 drone and I really do think this, this drone has more superior video. It's really nice video. It also has some pretty cool modes on it, like circle. It does give me a warning on here too that I'm flying too far away and you know it doesn't fly very far away because it is kind of a small micro drone. Let's go check out this big tree over here. I'm just going to stop and go up and see how far up I can go. That's about it. I'm going to try to go into the settings and see if I can expand. And I can change my flight speed in there as well. I can do slow or fast. And the Wi-Fi password is also changeable in there. And my altitude, my maximum altitude range is set to 25. Low battery warning is set to 20%. I'm gonna turn that down to 15%. And the bit rate's on auto. So that looks pretty good there. Let's go back to our flight. Just gonna rotate to the right a little bit. And now I'm in the fast mode, so it's really a lot faster in this mode. Look at that. Almost makes you dizzy. I kinda like it for filming more cinematic shots in the other mode which is going to be the slow flight speed mode. Let's turn that back to slow. This seems to have a much better looking video. Some people over there. The edge of the hill. Not a whole lot of wind up there today. It's a super cool little micro quad. It does show me my battery telemetry on here as well, so not likely for the drone just to drop out of the air, which is really good. When you're flying in a location like this, you definitely want to 
not fly too far away with this little guy. Because you will definitely go out of range, and once it goes out of range, it might just auto descend and land on you. So something to think about there. And the wind really will push this little guy around, but if you're in flight mode number two, which is fast, you can really, really heat up a lot of wind. And if you get way out there and it just seems like you can't make it back, go ahead and switch over into that fast mode and it'll bring you back a lot better. Get more angle of attack in the drone. This little guy's doing pretty good. It's gonna hover here in place for a second, see how it does for the hover shot. And you don't have any altitude, uh, you do have altitude hold, but you don't have any position hold that high up, but it seems to be doing a pretty good job in the wind. It's not really moving at all. I have hands off the sticks right there, and it's, it's just hovering in one spot. That's really good. Now, it's not gonna be as good a video as something like the DJI Spark, but not bad for $100. And again, in my opinion, it's way better than the Me Too drone by Xiaomi. It's flying backwards there. And I'm getting probably a little bit low on my battery, so I wanna not fly out too far. But man, look at how nice it is out today. This is a really nice day. Beautiful scenery. And I'm not flying that far away to get it either. That's really nice. This little guy is under 250 grams. So it is classified as a toy. Little brushed motors on here. Not very powerful. Not threatening at all. I see a hummingbird over there. Let's see if we can film that little guy. He's sitting on a branch. He's just interested in that sound frequency. That's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but he's on that branch right on that tree in front of us, right there. He's checking it out. He's wondering whether he should fly. That is neat. That little guy's very interested in that drone. Look at that hummingbird right there. What are the chances that we would get to film a hummingbird that is super cool. He's really interested in it. Can you guys see that hummingbird right there? It's to your right. He's looking all around. My battery is getting a little bit lower now. Man, that's one of the coolest, probably one of the coolest shots I've ever taken. That is too neat. He's really interested in it. That must be his spot on the, the tree that I was flying near. So we'll come back to the landing pad now. That was an awesome experience. All right, let's make it back to the landing pad. We're at the end of our battery, but we got to meet a little hummingbird. How cool is that? Maybe this little Tello is flying on the same frequency as a hummingbird, who knows? Pretty neat. So let's go ahead and do the hand landing. And you have two choices of landing. You have the hand landing or tap to land. And I'm just gonna do the hand landing. We'll say yes. Comes down and lands in my hand perfectly. Really nice little drone. Here we go. Let's go ahead and stop the video. That was really cool. So thanks for hanging out with me and uh, please do compare the Me Too drone to the Tello. Check it out on YouTube and uh, look at the specs on the Me Too drone and see if you guys like that one. It is very similar to the Tello, and there's a lot of talk about it right now out there on Facebook and on YouTube, whether which one is better or not. And uh, as you can clearly see, the Tello, in my opinion, is definitely the winner. But thanks again for hanging out on the channel, guys, and please do subscribe. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.